Good morning. Welcome back to our Chronological Bible Reading. I'm Ray Reynolds, the minister of the Somerdale Church of Christ. We're in Jeremiah chapter 22 today. I want to encourage you to open up your Bible and follow along as we read the Word of God. Chapter 22. Thus says the Lord, go down to the house of the king of Judah, and there speak this word, and say, Hear the word of the Lord, O king of Judah, you who sit on the throne of David, you and your servants and your people who enter these gates. Thus says the Lord, execute judgment and righteousness, and deliver the plundered out of the hand of the oppressor. Do no wrong, and do no violence to the stranger, the fatherless, or the widow, nor shed innocent blood in this place. For if, I, if you indeed do this thing, then... Uh, shall enter the gates of this house riding on horses and in chariots accompanied by servants and people, kings who sit on the throne of David. But if you will not hear these words, I swear by myself, says the Lord, that this house shall become desolation. For thus says the Lord to the house of the king of Judah, You are Gilead to me, the head of Lebanon. Yet I surely will make you a wilderness, cities which are not inhabited. I will prepare destroyers against you. Everyone with his weapons, they shall cut down your choice cedars and cast them into the fire. And many nations will pass by this city, and everyone will say to his neighbor, Why has the Lord done so to this great city? And they will answer, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Lord their God and worshipped other gods and served them. Weep not for the dead, nor bemoan him. Weep bitterly for him who goes away, for he shall return no more nor see his native country. For thus says the Lord concerning Shalom, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, who reigned instead of Josiah his father, who went from this place, he shall not return here any more, but he shall die in the place where they have led him captive, and shall see this land no more. Woe to him who builds his house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by injustice, who uses his neighbor's service without wages, and gives him nothing for his work." Who says, I will build myself a wide house with spacious chambers and cut out windows for it, paneling it with Caesars and painting it with vermilion. Shall you reign because you enclose yourself in cedar? Did not your father eat and drink and do justice and righteousness? Then it was well with him. He judged the cause of the poor and needy. Then it was well. Was not this knowing me, says the Lord? Yet your eyes and your heart are nothing for nothing but covetousness, you're shedding innocent blood and practicing oppression and violence. Therefore, thus says the Lord concerning Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah, they shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, my brother, or alas, my sister. They shall not lament for him, saying, Alas, master, or alas, his glory. He shall be buried with the burial of a donkey, dragged and cast beyond the gates of Jerusalem. Go up to Lebanon and cry out and lift up your voice in Bashan. Cry from Abarim, for the lovers are destroyed. I spoke to you in your prosperity, but you said I will not hear. This has been your manner from, our, from your youth, that you did not obey my voice. Then the wind shall eat up all your rulers and your lovers shall go into captivity. Surely then you will be ashamed and humiliated for your wickedness. O oh, inhabitant of Lebanon, making your nest in the cedars, how gracious will you be when pangs come upon you like the pain of a woman in labor. As I live, says the Lord, though Kaniah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, were the signet ring on my right hand, yet I will pluck you off, and I will give you the land, give you the hand of those who seek your life into the hand of those who face you fear. The hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and the hand of the Chaldeans. So I will cast you out and your mother who bore you into another country where you were not born, and there you shall die. But to the land to which they desire to return, there shall they shall not return. In this, Kaniah, a despised broken idol, a vessel is no is which is no pleasure. Why are they cast out, he and his descendants, and cast into a land which they do not know? O oh, earth, 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 hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord, write this down as childless, a man who sh uh, shall not prosper in his days. For none of his descendants shall prosper, sitting on the throne of David and ruling any more in Judah. Chapter 23. What are the shepherds who destroy and scatter sheep of my pasture, says the Lord? Therefore, thus says the Lord God of Israel against the shepherds who feed my people. You have scattered my flock, driven them away, and not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for the evil your doings, says the Lord. But I will gather the remnant of my flock out of the countries where I have driven them, and bring them back to their folds, and they shall be fruitful and increase. I will set up shepherds over them who will feed them. They shall fear no more, nor be dismayed, nor shall they be lacking, says the Lord. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness. A king shall reign and prosper and execute judgment and righteousness in the earth. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel 
will dwell safely. Now this is his name by which he will be called the Lord our righteousness. Therefore, behold, these days are coming, says the Lord, that they shall no longer say as the Lord lives who brought up the children of Israel from the land of Egypt, but as the Lord lives who brought up and led the descendants of the house of Israel from the north country and from all the countries where I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. My heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I'm like a drunken man and like a man whom wine has overcome because of the Lord and because of his holy words for the Lord, the land is full of adulterers for because of a curse, the land mourns, the pleasant places, the wilderness are dried up. Their course of life is evil and their might is not right for both prophet and priest are profane. Yes, in my house, I've found their wickedness, says the Lord. Therefore, their ways shall be to them like slippery ways in the darkness. They shall be driven on and fall in them for I will bring disaster on them. The year of their punishment, says the Lord. And I have seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied by Baal, and they caused my people in Israel to err. And I have seen a horrible thing in the prophets of Jerusalem. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen the hands of evildoers so that no one turns back from wickedness. All of them are like Sodom to me and are inhabitants like Gomorrah. Thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets. Behold, I will feed with them, them with wormwood. And make them drink the water of gall, for the prophets of Jerusalem profaneness has gone out into the land. Thus says the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They make you worthless. They speak of the vision of their own heart, not from the mouth of the Lord. They continually say to those who despise me, the Lord has said, you shall have peace. And everyone who walks according to the dictates of his own heart, they say no evil shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord and has perceived or heard his word? Who has marked his word and heard it? Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord has gone forth in a fury, a violent whirlwind, and it will fall violently on the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he's executed and performed the thoughts of his heart. In the latter days, you'll understand it perfectly. I've not seen, sent these prophets, yet they ran. I've not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. And if they had stood in my counsel and it caused my people to hear my words, then they would have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Am I not near at hand, says the Lord, and not a God afar off? Can anyone hide himself in secret places so I shall not see him, says the Lord? Do I not fill the heaven and earth, says the Lord? I've heard what the prophet said, and who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I've dreamed, I've dreamed. How long will this be in the heart of the prophets who prophesy lies? Indeed, they're like prophets of uh, the deceit in the heart who try to make my people forget my name by their dreams, which everyone tells his neighbor as their fathers forgot my name for Baal. The prophet who has a dream, let him tell a dream. And he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the chaff to the wheat, says the Lord? Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Therefore, behold, I am against the prophet, says the Lord, who steal my words, everyone from his neighbor. Behold, I am against the prophet, says the Lord, who use their tongues and say, he says... Behold, I am against the prophecy, false dream, says the Lord. Tell them, cause my people to err by their lies and their recklessness. Yet I did not send them or command them, therefore they shall not profit this people at all, says the Lord. So when these people or the prophet or the priest ask you, saying, what is the oracle of the Lord? You shall say to them, what oracle? If even I will forsake you, says the Lord. And for the prophet and the priest and the people who say the oracle of the Lord, I'll even punish that man in his house. Thus, every one of you shall say to his neighbor and every one to his brother, what has the Lord answered and what has the Lord spoken? And the oracle of the Lord shall mention no more. For every man's word will be his oracle. And you have perverted the words of the living God, Lord of hosts, our God. Thus, you shall say to the prophet, what has the Lord answered you? And what has the Lord spoken? But since you say the oracle of the Lord, therefore thus says the Lord, because you say this word, the oracle of the Lord, and I have sent to you saying, do not say the oracle of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I will utterly forget you and forsake you. In the city that I gave you and your fathers, I will cast you out of my presence. And I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you and a perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. Chapter 24. The Lord showed me, and there were two baskets of figs set before the temple of the Lord after Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, had carried away captive Je Jeconiah, the son of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and the princes of Judah with the craftsmen and smiths from Jerusalem, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, like the figs of the first ripe, and the other basket had bad figs, very bad figs that could not be eaten. They were so bad. Then the Lord said to me, What do you see, Jeremiah? And I said, Figs, the good figs, very good, the bad, very bad which cannot be eaten. They're so bad. 
And again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, like the good figs, so will I acknowledge those who are carried away captive from Judah, whom I have sent out of this place for their own good into the land of the Chaldeans. For I will set my eyes on them for good, and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them and not pull them down, and will plant them and not pluck them up. And then I will give them a heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. And as the bad figs cannot be eaten, they're so bad, surely this, says the Lord. So I will give up Zedekiah, the king of Judah, and his princes, the residue of Jerusalem who remain in this land, and those who dwell in the land of Egypt. I will deliver them to trouble into the kingdoms of the earth for their harm, to be a reproach and a byword, a taunt and a curse, in all places where I shall drive them. And I will send the word, the famine, and the pestilence among them, till they are consumed from the land that I gave to them and their fathers." Thank you so much for tuning in today to our Bible reading. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow as we continue in Jeremiah 25. Until next time, have a blessed day.